we can use graphing to help us solve physics questions. We can rearrange known physics formulas into the format y equals mx plus b, and then using the value of the slope or the y-intercept to study physics uh, variables. You may remember from math that the y equals mx plus b format is also known as the slope-intercept format uh, in graphing. So let's say we have an object of unknown mass and it has various potential value, potential energy values at different heights on Earth. You're asked to graph the values of potential energy versus height, and then determine the slope of the graph, and then use the slope value to find the mass of the object. So we have four different data points. And earlier, I used Google Sheets to graph, make a graph of the potential energy with, uh, compared to the height of the object. I asked Google Sheets to show me the equation of the graph, and it tells me this, the equation of the graph is the potential energy equals 24.5x plus 0.25. Uh, as a reminder, you should use the slope from the line of best fit, not data points, because the line of best fit is really averaging out all of our data points, and it's better to use the average values of all four data points instead of just one data point. So, uh, the equation for potential energy is already in the y equals mx plus b format because, as you remember, potential energy has the equation EP equals mass times g times h. Mass times g times h. It's already in the format of y equals mx plus b. We can see potential energy is in the y is equivalent to the y variable. The uh, height is really the same as the x variable. So then what that really means is that the value of the slope of the line, m, as we call it in math, is equivalent to mass multiplied by the uh, acceleration to gravity, g. And again, from Excel and Google Sheets, we see the equation of line of best fit is y equals 24.5 times 0.25. The, the x here, the x here, not times, is equivalent to height. So then we can see from our red box here that 24.5 is the same as mass times g. So then we can say, we can write this, 24.5 kilogram meter per second squared because that's the, the units of our slope. It's the same as mass times g. If we want to find mass, we need to divide both sides by g. So we now divide both sides by 9.81. And we find that the mass of this unknown object is 2.49 or about 2.5 kilograms. All this we were able to find by equating our, our slope, inter slope intercept format equation y equals mx plus b to our physics equation ep equals mg h. Now if your physics equation is not in the format of y equals mx plus b, you may need to do some rearrangement. However, the rearrangement should not be the, the troubling part of your analysis. The, the, the key to your analysis is realizing, in this case, the slope of the line is equivalent to mass times g 